Okay, today is August the 31st, 2015, and uh, we're looking at the uh, Hawaii water vapor loop, and uh, this is uh, Hurricane Ignacio we're looking at, which uh, today has diminished to 105 mile per hour winds. The uh, storm is moving northwest at 10 miles per hour, and uh, we can see that the eye wall is, is uh, disintegrated on this storm, and we can see a blast pattern. Uh, this storm is being hit by a harp transmitter as it moves towards Hawaii. Uh, it's actually moving in a northwest direction now, which is up, up this way at a 45 degree angle. Um, okay, let's look at this in the, uh, this is the uh, rainbow loop, the infrared loop. And uh, we can see the uh, the blast pattern here on the outer edge of that storm. There's still very intense uh, rain in the uh, center, but it is being targeted by a transmitter. There's no doubt about that. We can see the blast pattern. Uh, here is the uh, visible light uh, satellite mode. And this uh, line that comes across here at the end, that's the daylight sun uh, rising there. Okay, so we don't see a whole lot in this view. Uh, probably catch more of that later. Uh, we do see what looks like some... Yeah, it's hard to say. But this is uh, the uh, water vapor mode tells the story here today. The, that, that blast pattern right there, that tells us all we need to know. And look at the, uh, the general uh, flow here today. We have a a north, or rather an east-northeast flow pattern. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. So the eye wall of this storm is basically the leading edge of, of the storm. And uh, we can see that all the dry air in this area, there's a high pressure down here that is uh, uh, helping to steer this hurricane uh, to the northwest. Okay, and that's what's happening here. All right, let's go look at the big picture. This is the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, we can see that this storm's tail, the moisture field, is moving right towards California, uh, right into Southern California and into uh, Baja in Arizona. And uh, yesterday we had uh, chemical aerosols being sprayed all day long in the skies in, in the uh, LA region. And um, today the skies are clear. We've got 64% uh, humidity. The uh, temperature has dropped significantly. It's around 74 degrees right now. And we do have a dew point that's around 61 degrees. So it's going to be another uh, humid day today, but much cooler because of this flow that's uh, moving on shore. All right. And we were told last night on the television uh, weather that all of the cooler weather is a result of a, uh, a low from, from this area up here. But uh, the, uh, this, this uh, weather here is also contributing to that as well. So we've got much cooler temperatures. Now, what's happening uh, over here, this is uh, Hurricane Kilo, which is currently uh, still uh, at uh, 135 mile per hour winds. It's moving uh, north-northwest at 10 miles per hour. So this is moving uh, in a northerly direction. What's happening here now is that We've got a harp transmitter right here that's uh, focusing some high power right here, generating a, uh, a, uh, a high pressure. And that is going to serve to block this storm from getting sucked up in this uh, trail, this moisture field that's wrapping around this uh, parked high right here. There's a high pressure right here. It's been here for over a week. And uh, this storm would have uh, moved right up and around. Uh, this flow pattern and back towards the uh, west coast, but they are blocking that now. Uh, we can see a high pressure that's been installed here, and look at the distortion right there in the uh, leading edge of that uh, hurricane right there. There's a big dent where that high pressure is being uh, pinned down. That's a stationary high pressure, and that is blocking this hurricane from uh, getting sucked up in this flow and moving back around towards the west coast. So this is more evidence of weather manipulation. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, uh, Ignacio down here. This is uh, being blocked by this high pressure right here that's been installed by Harp Transmitter right here. And uh, there's high pressure all through here. 
and all through here. And that is blocking, you know, if we watch the flow right here, there's a little blast pattern right there, by the way, right there. Uh, we're watching all of this moisture uh, uh, basically bounce off of this uh, high pressure uh, uh, shield that's been uh, installed right here uh, by a harp transmitter all through here. And uh, all that moisture is moving right towards the west coast. And uh, here we have uh, Jimena, Hurricane Jimena, which is at 150 miles per hour. That storm is still maintaining a very strong winds. It's moving due west at 16 miles per hour. All right, now over here there's a, a disturbance that's uh, forecast to become a hurricane with 80% certainty in about two days. So we'll keep an eye on this area right here. All right, now over here we have some, her uh, some uh, thunderstorm uh, activity right over here. This is being blown apart. That's the very tail end of a uh, thunderstorm right there. It's been blown apart, and that would have been uh, pulled right through to uh, New Mexico and Arizona. We can see that flow is moving right through here and up diagonally through the four corner states and up uh, right into uh, Canada. There's a uh, something uh, spinning right up here that's trying to spin up in a counterclockwise direction. All right, so we see this distortion occurring now in this high right here, and that is this. Uh, uh, high pressure over here, which is pinching off this uh, flow pattern here, which would uh, prevent this hurricane from getting sucked around. So we see a big distortion uh, right here in this uh, high pressure. So that's basically uh, it. Um, we have uh, there's a couple other maps here. This is just a close up of, of uh, Hawaii. Uh, we can see that this storm is obviously being uh, tampered with right here. Blast pattern visible. Uh, we also see a blast pattern visible right here. Uh, this is uh, Imena right here. We see a blast pattern clearly right around the uh, periphery of that storm. And this is still at 150 miles per hour. We've got an eye wall. We can see that this storm is all sort of quasi disorganized. It's still very powerful, but there's no eye wall. Uh, because of the fact that they've been uh, hitting this with uh, power during the night. So we'll keep an eye on all this. Um, <clears throat> and here is a shot of the East Pacific. This is Imena and all the storms here. So uh, let's go take a quick look at the uh, National Hurricane Center chart, the map. And uh, this is Imena right here, 150 mile per hour winds core pressure of uh, 936 millibar and moving west at 16 miles per hour. We've got this other uh, new disturbance here, 80% chance. Keep an eye on that. And let's go and look at the, uh, the other two hurricanes. We've got Kilo on the far left of the uh, maps, still at 135 mile per hour, 947 millibar pressure, and it's moving uh, north northwest at 10 miles per hour and then we have ignacio right next to uh, hawaii it's been uh, knocked down to 105 mile per hour winds it's moving northwest at 10 miles per hour with a 966 millibar pressure so they've been working on this storm and these stats tell that story so uh, let's go back and take a look again at uh, hurricane uh, ignacio right here Storm is being uh, killed off very slowly, okay, and uh, it's being pushed away by the uh, high pressure that's been installed right down south of the islands. All right, so uh, let's take one more look at this in the uh, water vapor, and we can see that blast pattern. They hit this uh, periodically, probably a couple of times an hour at least, and it's just, uh, it, you know, it, it weakens the storm. and. Uh, <clears throat> You can see that happening. There's a lot of violent disorganization here in this storm. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. We'll uh, we'll do another update later on today. Okay.